What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a cute illustration of the Pillsbury Doughboy. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Start from the top of our circle, come all the way around towards the bottom, and then bring that back up towards the top. Now we want to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw that same size circle on the right. So we'll line up the top of that circle, bring this down towards the bottom, towards the same height, and then back up towards the top. Now we're going to push the pupils towards the inside of the eye. So on the left, draw a smaller circle, leaving an edge on the outside, and then pull that in. Let's add the nose in between the eyes. We're going to start on the left, curve this down, and then up. Now we're going to move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Now we're going to move down and draw in the mouth. Let's start underneath the left eye. Start with a curve coming down, and then up towards the right. And I'll add a fold across the corners of the mouth with a bracket. Now I'm going to bring the side of the mouth coming in and then down. Start back on the left. Bring this in and then down. I'm going to round out the bottom of the mouth and pull that back up towards the right. And then just underneath the mouth, we'll add a small curve to the lower lip. Now from here, we're going to move back up to the top and draw the bottom edge of the hat. On the outside, just going to curve this up above the left eye and then bring that across towards the right. Let's draw two angled lines going up and out. And we'll follow that same curve across the top of the hat brim. Let's add a circle in the center of the hat brim. Now we're going to draw the top of the hat. From this point, curve around and then bend that across towards the left. Round up the top, come down, and then bend that out. Now we're going to add a fold on the side of the hat. Going around, and then we'll bend that in. Let's move back on the left side, come around, and then in. Now we'll bend that down towards the left corner of the hat. Let's add some pleats across the top of the hat. Starting up here, bend this up, and then out. Step in, draw that again. Now on the right, we're going to do that one more time. Now that we have the face and the hat, let's draw on the side of the head. We we'll start from the bottom corner, put the head going around, come down, and just pull that in underneath the lip. Now to work our way across the right side, going out, pull this around the eye, and then in towards the bottom corner of the hat. Now directly underneath the head, we're going to add the knot. Start with two curves coming around like a bracket. Close the bottom with a straight line. Let's draw the bottom of the scarf. Starting in the center, bend this down and out to the left, on the right side. And then from the bottom corners of the knot, curve this around and then back down towards a point. Now I'm going to go up to the side of the head and draw the bottom of the scarf coming in towards the knot. So we'll start on the left down and bend that in, go out and up on the right. Now from here we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start underneath the head on the left side, come down, I'm just going to bend this out towards the bottom of the leg. Let's line this up on the right, we're going to bend out the body, come down and then in towards the same height. Let's round out the bottom of the left foot, come around and up go up towards the right, and then go across. Let's round out the bottom of the right foot, come down and then up, and bend that across underneath that fold. Let's go back up to the top and draw the left arm stretched out. We start underneath the scarf, then the arm coming down, and then out, round up the hand, and just tuck that in towards the side of the body. Now we're going to line up the inside of the arm over on the right side, bend the arm going up, and then bend that out towards the edge of the hand, round up the hand, and then pull that back in. 
And I add a small bump for the thumb, going up and down. Then the arm comes in towards the side of the scarf. Now we're going to go in with our blue marker and fill the inside of the eyes. We'll also fill that circle along the top of the hat. And we'll fill the inside of the mouth with this gray. And then we'll finish off by signing our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color the Pillsbury Doughboy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.